You ever notice there's a small group of people absolutely crushing it with AI? They're not tech bros, they're not coding wizards, and they're definitely not using some secret tool that the rest of us don't have. So what makes them different? It's not what they're using, it's how they're using it. They've developed a handful of unfair skills that lets them build faster, create smarter, and solve problems like they got a cheat code. And in this video, I'm breaking down the five AI skills that are separating the winners from everyone else and how you can start stacking some of these skills today. So let's get one thing straight. This isn't about tools. Everyone and their grandma has access to ChatGPT, Midjourney, Make, Claude, whatever. The difference, most people are just messing around with AI while a few are using it to build serious momentum. And spoiler, it's not because they're technical. It's because they've got the skills to actually use this stuff well. You don't need to be a coder. You don't need to be a tech wizard. You just need to learn how to think differently. And it all starts with the five skills we're about to break down. All right, so skill number one, and honestly, this is a big one, is prompt engineering. And this is the part where most people blow it. Because if your prompt is vague, scattered, or sounds like a cry for help, guess what? Your output's gonna suck. Think of it like talking to a genie. If you say, make me rich, Cool, you might end up with a pile of pirate coins and a cursed NFT. But if you say, deposit $10 million into my Chase business account ending in 0427 tax-free by Tuesday, now we're talking. So the same thing goes for AI. A lazy prompt will give you a lazy result, whereas a sharp prompt will give you an output that is mm, chef's kiss. The pros treat AI like a creative partner. They know how to give it just enough context, structure, and vibe to hit the mark every time. And this isn't just for ChatGPT. Prompts run the show for pretty much everything from image gen, video, code, voice, the works. So what should you actually get good at? I would say a good starting point would be following a proven prompt framework. In my last video, I went over the castle framework and the TLDR of that video is essentially following the character action setting, tone, lore, and expression framework. So those are the six components of a you know really strong prompt. I'll link up that video somewhere on the screen now if you wanna check that out in more detail. But outside of the castle prompt framework, another really effective strategy that you can use to really level up your prompting would be prompt chaining. So for example, for something that's gonna be a little bit of a larger task or a larger project, rather than trying to get the full output just in one go, breaking it down into smaller chunks and then chaining it into different sequential prompts can give you a much, much better output. So just as an example, even when it came to writing the script for this video, rather than asking for the full script in one go, breaking it down into doing it one section at a time is gonna give you a much better result going section by section, as opposed to asking for the, the whole output in one go. So that's gonna be really, really effective for you know bigger projects or bigger tasks is just breaking it down into smaller chunks. But like I said, a good starting point is gonna be to follow a proven prompt framework. So the TLDR of the castle prompt framework is gonna be character. That's essentially gonna be giving the AI a role. The second one is action. So this is the most important one. That's basically giving the AI a task, telling it exactly what you want it to do. Uh, next is setting. So the setting is gonna be like the context. So giving as much context on the situation as possible is gonna really help elevate your results. T is gonna be tone. So the tone is essentially, you know, what is the, the voice that we want the output to have? So do we want it to be friendly? Do we want it to be casual, professional, whatever. There's a lot of different ways we can structure the tone of the output. So this is gonna be really important. The L stands for lore. So the lore is essentially as many examples as we can give. So if we have any previous examples of exactly how we want this to be structured, giving as many examples as possible will allow the AI to match that example as closely as possible. And then the E is expression. So this is essentially like the format, how we want the output formatted, whether we want it as a list, a table, just text, whatever that is. If we can get as specific as possible on each of these six components, we're gonna have the best result possible. And like I said, to take that to the next level, if we even break that down into smaller chunks through prompt chaining, then we'll have absolutely absolutely killer results. So that's just like a super, super high level overview of some prompt engineering basics. But if you wanna go deeper on this, you can, like I said, check out my Castle Prompt Framework video, or this is a topic that we go in even more detail inside of my community AI Quest, which I'll link in the description down below if that's something that you're interested in. But the bottom line here is that prompting is gonna be one of the most important skills that you can learn. It's kind of like the foundation for all the other skills that you're gonna learn from here. So definitely take some time to level up your prompting game. Because when you do, this is what's gonna make AI to start to feel like a super powered partner rather than just another clunky tool. All right, let's talk about skill number two, which is AI problem solving. And this is the skill that separates the tool users from the actual operators. See, most beginners jump straight to automation. 
They ask questions like, what tool do I need? What ZAP do I build? What AI agent can do this for me? But here's the problem. They're optimizing workflows they never stop to question. It's kind of like polishing the floors of a house with a crooked foundation. The real leverage doesn't come from doing it faster, it comes from thinking better. So this skill is all about taking a step back and asking questions like, do we even need this process? Is there a smarter way of solving this problem entirely? And what's the actual bottleneck here and how can AI help remove it? You're not just becoming an implementer, you're leveling up into strategist territory. And that's when clients start saying things like, damn, I didn't even think of that. To get there, practice asking better questions and use AI to challenge assumptions. Map out trade-offs, simulate options, and ultimately play chess, not checkers. Because the real power of AI, it's not in the tools, it's in the thinking they unlock, if you use them right. All right, skill number three is workflow automation. And this is where things start to get fun. Because this skill, this is the cheat code for buying back your time without hiring a team. Let's be real, most people waste hours every single week on the same boring tasks, following up with leads, writing emails, scheduling reminders, and uploading the same damn doc to five different places. But once you learn this skill, it's like hiring three virtual assistants that never sleep, never complain, and never ask for PTO. We're talking tools like Zapier, Make.com, Go High Level, that are all working behind the scenes to connect your apps, trigger workflows, and keep things moving while you do literally anything else. Lead opts in, AI writes the first message, tags them in your CRM, and then cues the right follow-up. Repurposing content, done. Routing DMs, handled. Client onboarding, fully automated. And here's the kicker. This isn't just a skill for saving time. This skill can be a business model in and of itself. Plenty of people are using these same exact skills to build AI agencies, where they're helping other business owners to automate sales, marketing, and operations. So whether you wanna use this skill to buy back your time or package this as a service that you can sell, automation is how you create leverage at scale. It's like building a machine that makes life easier for you and others. All right, so skill number four is AI content creation. And if you're a creator and or a business owner, you probably already realize that this one is a game changer because content is how you build trust, stay relevant and create leverage. But let's be honest, showing up consistently, it's like a full-time job on top of your full-time job. You gotta write, script, edit, design, repurpose, and by the end of it all, you're creatively fried. And this is where AI can have a massive impact. It's kind of like cloning your creative brain. So one version keeps being you and the other pumps out assets while you sleep. So you can use AI to do things like brainstorm ideas, write killer hooks, clean up your scripts, generate visuals or voiceovers. And the best part is, is that if you do it right, it still sounds like you and not like some corporate LinkedIn bot. Tools like Descript, Gling, Eleven Labs, Midjourney, Canva, and Pika, just to name a few, among many, many others, make it almost too easy. Record just one video and boom, you got short form clips, emails, carousels, and even ads in just a few clicks. The pros here aren't hustling harder. They're just stacking outputs using systems. This isn't about replacing your creativity. It's about amplifying it at scale without burning out and without ghosting your audience. All right, so the fifth skill and possibly one of the most exciting ones on the list is vibe coding. So if you're not familiar with the term, which you very well may not be since it's such a new term, vibe coding refers to the process of being able to turn your simple ideas into tools, systems, and even full-blown software platforms without having to touch a single line of code. The beauty of this process is that you don't need to be a software developer anymore. You just need to describe the vibe of what you want and what you're looking to build. And AI can pretty much figure out the rest. Want to build an app, an automation, an agent that sounds like you and closes sales while you sleep? Cool, talk it out, map out the flow, and tools like Lovable, Replit, and Bolt help you build it. It's kind of like having a dev team that fully understands your vibe and never pushes back on deadlines. So the real skill here isn't necessarily learning syntax, it's more learning how to think like a builder. So asking questions like, what does the user journey look like? What happens when someone clicks here? And where can I automate? All you need to do is be able to sketch it out in plain English and AI takes care of all the heavy lifting. This is how solo creators can launch full products, how consultants can ship client tools in a weekend and how idea people can become builders without writing a single line of code. So the superpower here isn't technical ability, it's clarity plus creativity paired with the right tools. So if you've got ideas, 
Vibe coding is how you bring them to life. All right, let's hit a quick recap of the five skills that are separating the winners from everyone else. All right, so first we have prompt engineering, which is the foundation of every AI interaction. Second, we have AI problem solving, which is all about thinking better, faster, and deeper. Third, we have workflow automation, which is all about building systems that run while you sleep. Fourth is AI content creation, which is all about scaling your brand without burning out. And then fifth, we have vibe coding, which is all about building apps using your words, not code. These aren't just random tactics, they're stackable skills. You don't need to master all five by Friday, but every time you level one up, you unlock more leverage, more time, more output, more opportunity. Because AI isn't just about doing things faster. It's about doing the things that you couldn't even touch before. And the sooner you get in the game, the sooner you start pulling ahead. All right, if you're serious about building these skills and not just watching YouTube videos about them, come join AI Quest. It's my community where we actually do the work, building real projects, sharing systems, and getting better together. Whether you're growing a business, scaling your brand, or just tired of feeling left behind in the AI game, this is where you can level up. Links in the description. It's totally free to join, at least at the time of this recording. And if this video added value for you in any way, shape, or form, do me a huge favor and hit that like button and subscribe to the channel for more videos to help you level up with AI. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.